welcome to the Wayfaring Panda. I'm Annette. Today I'm making a Christmas card with a textured background. So first of all, I'm putting some cardstock through my Sizzix Big Shot Plus machine. And I'm using this paper studio embossing folder that has holly and berries on it. This video is part of the Christmas in July collab put on by Bug Scott from Mediocre Crafts. And this week's theme is Posh. Now when I think of posh, I think of something kind of elegant, so I didn't think the cards should be a lot of different colors. And I thought elegant might be really nice to be a white background, so I'm creating two different backgrounds that I'll come combine together. Now I thought about putting some Nouveau Glimmer Paste, which was Moonstone, on top of this embossed background, but it was dried out. It was actually almost empty, so that was all right. So I had this new product called Nouveau Glitter Accents, so I just spread that on, and that looked pretty much the same as the Glimmer Paste. I cut out the word Noel with my brother's scan and cut, and I used some red metallic paper from Paper Studio. I figured metallic paper seems really posh to me, and I was going to do like half a card with the embossed and then half a card with that red pattern paper that I showed you. But I decided the word Noel didn't show up too well on that. So I decided to still use two different backgrounds I'm going to combine, but keep it white. So I'm using another piece of white cardstock and this time I'm going to stencil on some white stencil paste from Lawn Fawn and this is their pearl. And I'm using a stencil from Newton Snook, and this is called Ornaments. So you can use, do the same thing I'm doing, but just use whatever Christmas stencil that you have and whatever embossing folder that you have that looks kind of Christmassy. Then I use a small paper cutter to cut my two cards. So I had a little bit of trouble with this one and I think it's because the cards are thicker because of the embossing and the gel and the paste. So you might want to use a guillotine cutter or a regular size guillotine cutter for this. But I'm cutting them together because I'm going to use one piece from one card and one piece from the other and combine those so I need them to be exactly the same. But I don't want to cut them right in half. So I'm going to kind of do them at a diagonal, so that way it'll give the card a little bit different interest to it. So I just cut the part that didn't cut real well with my scissors, and I just used my scissors to trim off some of the jagged part. But that's all right, because when I put these together, I'm going to put some washi tape where they connect. So that'll kind of cover up the rough parts of the paper. So I'm just using my Nouveau Deluxe Glue to adhere the glittery embossed paper to the bottom of this card and I'll do the same with the top of the stenciled cardstock. I'm sorry about the bruise on my arm. I tried not to reach across the uh, camera but I had to get the glue. So I had just banged my arm on the door handle one day. It's not hurting anymore but it looks bad. <laughs> Then I'm just gluing another card the opposite way. So I'm just putting the stencil part on the bottom and the embossed part on top. So this way you get two different cards. Then I had three different washi tapes I was going to check out and see which one I wanted to use. So I have the red, a silver, and a white. And they're all kind of glittery. And these are also from Hobby Lobby. I got one time when I went there when they were having 50% off all their Christmas stuff. So I'm sure there's different brands that have all different glitter washi tapes. So just use whatever you have on hand. This stuff is all things I had. I didn't buy anything for these cards. So I decided to use the white on the first card and then I used red on the next one. So you'll have to let me know which one you like best. And based on this, I decorated them differently. Since I decided to use the white washi tape, I thought using these white um, poinsettias would be good. And these are also some things I got from Hobby Lobby when they had their Christmas stuff on sale. So I'm just using whatever I had in my stash. So just dig in your stash and use whatever you have. Originally, I wanted to cut out um, 
a white border around the Noel, but I was having trouble with my brother's scan and cut. I think maybe the blade is chipped a little bit or something, so I probably need to get a new blade. Anyway, I decided to stick with what I had, so I just glued it on here, and I was hoping since the paper, the red paper, the metallic paper is thicker than usual cardstock that it would be high enough, but I really didn't like just how it looked gluing on there. So on the next one, I used some foam tape, which I liked better, but I still think I would have liked to build it up. So I would either cut out the same size again, or maybe do like I was planning and cut out a Noel that's just slightly bigger. For this next card, I decided to use the red washi tape to get a little bit more punch and then I'll use these holly berries that are kind of stickers which also came from Hobby Lobby. I had gotten all this stuff, the washi and all that to make stuff last year for Christmas and so this is just leftover Christmas stuff I had from last year. Most of it I used for making gift tags so just use whatever you have in your stash. Since I didn't really like how the Noel looked just gluing it straight on the card, this card I'm propping up with some fun foam. Then I put some double sided tape on it. I'm just trying to cut small pieces to put on the back. Now the only problem is some of it's hard to get it to where it doesn't show on the front. So I do try to trim that down. And then the other thing is since it is a white background and the foam tape is white, any bit that might show over the side doesn't really show so much since it'll just kind of blend in. Of course this part took quite a bit of time so I sped it up and also took some of that footage out. So you'll see the results at the end and of course I like it better propped up but I think in the future I'll do what I planned on and either build the word up or do an outline around the word. And I think that will make it show up better. I will put a list of all the products that I use in the description below. A few of these will be affiliate links. They don't cost you anything extra to use, but I do get a small commission from any sales that those links generate, and that helps support my YouTube channel and my website. Now, some of the products I use, of course, I've already mentioned a lot of these came from Hobby Lobby, so basic card making supplies like your white card stock and things like that. I just get at the discount stores because, hey, that helps save money. But things like specialty products like stencils and stamps and things like that, I do try to buy from small companies like my stencil came from Newton's Nook. I will put that, if it's still available, to their store. It won't be an affiliate link, just to support small companies like Newton's Nook. I also like to support small companies that have scrapbook stores near me. There are two paper crafting stores that I sometimes get my supplies from. And some of those you can find from other specialty stores that might be near you or online. And I like to support small businesses. I decided to put these holly, I guess they're kind of flat back jewels, on to the front of this card since it brings out the red, since I have more red on this one. I didn't quite like how I got that first one, but I couldn't move it because it was really stuck to the glitter, so it would peel the glitter off. So then I just reached over the top later. I decided to try to move the other one, and it was able to move it because I didn't like how they looked. I want to thank you so much for watching. I will put a list of all the participants in the hop in the description below. Please hop along to the next person on the hop and get some more ideas for making posh Christmas cards. And also it might give you some ideas to jazz up the cards, your everyday cards. If you like the video, please give it a like. And if you're not already a subscriber, I'd really appreciate if you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a wonderful day.